Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. We're going to go out to Montreal to have a little bit more existential discussion about the Hells Angels and Sicilian Rizzuto mob uh, war and all the proxy wars that, that come with it. And I want to discuss or, or kind of just shed light and insight into, you know, history, especially if, if you're successful, even moderately, history is going to repeat itself if you're um, an organization, for instance, at war, and you've done something that helped you um, ex- extend your motivations for that war or agenda for that war. Even if it's 20 years, 25 years later, you're going to kind of go back to the well. So back in the 90s when the Hells Angels in Montreal uh, were at war with the um, Rock Machine, and this was, you know, the biggest biker war in in North American history and uh, and over 100 bodies. Um, This was the, you know, the the conflict where Marty Robert, the current, um, you know, the, the... Tour de force of a of a Hell's Angels boss right now in in Montreal. He cut his teeth um, in the Great Quebec Biker War, uh, and he was a member of a support club, just like we're going to talk about now. But the main uh, quote unquote support club of the Hell's Angels during that war was a group called the Rockers, and the Rockers were put together not so much as a biker club, but as you know, as muscle, uh, as hitters, um, a lot of the uh, a lot of the ro- of a lot of the rockers didn't even ride motorcycles. Uh, Greg Woolley was uh, Picasso. Woolley was uh, somebody who who earned his stripes per se. He never became a full patch member, but a guy that really ingratiated himself with uh, Mom Boucher and and, and Nergit Stadnik, uh, who were the the, the bosses of of uh, the, the 81 back then, Nurgit still is. Um, they that you know, they gave a lot of props to to for Wooly uh, for joining the Rockers. Uh, I guess knowing he was never going to be a full patch member of the Angels because he was uh, black and putting in work. You know, he was uh, put on trial for a number of murders. He was acquitted of them. Um, Marty was implicated in some murders. I think he was with the ghost riders, I believe, or the death riders, um, support club. So the modern day equivalent of that, I've been, I buried the lead for the first two minutes here, a modern day equivalent of what the rockers were in the nineties is the Marauders. And I want to give some, some Intel on how the Marauders were put together, who's leading the Marauders right now. Um, and again, kind of make that draw that line from the rockers during the Quebec, the great Quebec biker war as the kind of the front line um, shooters, if you will, in in the hell's angels account fighting the rock machine. And in this case, the marauders are kind of the new era rockers from what I'm hearing from law enforcement, from guys on the street, um, both current and former 81 uh, current and former SQ uh, that are keeping tabs on this. So Marauders was created about four or five years ago and really became known more nationally in Canada, at least, and for the people that are tracking the violence back in the winter or the end of the winter, early spring, when John Philippe Celestine, a.k.a. The Butcher, um, and you can see him in this picture wearing Marauder gear, uh, jump ship from the Rizzuto mob. He had been the head of the Rizzuto mob's street gang operations. And after the murder of his brother in February, we see him there at the uh, at the funeral for his brother Pucci, um, who was killed in February, leaving their headquarters in Little Italy in Montreal, uh, Elio's Restaurante. Within a very short period of time, John Philippe left the Rizzuto mob camp and pledged his allegiance to the Hells Angels and was placed in the Marauders. Uh, And it it had people like me wondering, who are the Marauders? 
Um, and then I found out there were a group that hadn't been around that long, but is gaining stature because of the fact that they are now looked at as for, for people like the Hells Angels who are universally feared. When you're viewed as the muscle or the killers for the guys that are viewed as muscle and killers, you, you know, you know, at least perception wise, you're, you're, you're badass. So the Marauders were put together. I'm told of just all, you know, kind of like a, uh, a, a rogues gallery of different gangland figures, not necessarily guys that, that ride bikes like same with, with the rockers. Um, John Philip Celestine is not a guy that rides a bike. I guess he had to, I'm told got a three wheeler to kind of uh, uh, meet some of the standards. Um, but these are guys that are just criminals, gangsters, not necessarily bikers, but the way that the, underworld in Canada is with the Hells Angels holding the role they do it it seems to more so than in the United States and I'm guessing other parts of the country but I could be or other parts of the world I could be wrong I just know about the the US and, and Canada where the brand itself is so much bigger than biker culture and you have guy I mean I think it goes back to Mom Boucher Mom Boucher was I mean I know he was a biker but Mom Boucher was a crime lord more than a biker boss so right now, uh, the person that's leading the Marauders, I'm told, exclusive sourcing on this, is a man, a 53-year-old man, a convicted felon by the name of David Castelli. They call him Cautious Dave. Used to uh, ha have uh, leadership of a former West Island um, biker club puppet club of the hell's angels known as the devil's ghosts um and has ties to the west end gang the irish mob the hell's angels the maddox brothers who run the the west end gang uh, and castelli is is the the shot caller from the rotters and they have another couple dozen guys like celestine that are just kind of muscle for hire um a ragtag group of trigger men and you know i wouldn't even call these guys racketeers they're they're dyed in wool gangsters and that's what the marauders are so as as the war goes on and you know with all the shifts and trials and tribulations and alliances moving or being you know re put together some guys leaving other guys coming the marauders will play a big role and and that's that's who the celestine is with now um and he's reporting to cautious dave castelli so when you think of the marauders now you should think of the rockers back in the 90s that's the marauders in the 2000s Thank you. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Check the uh, Patreon members only whenever you can. We got you know different, unique uh, content on there that's different from the from the YouTube. And we'll we'll keep bringing you all the latest breaking news and the underworld here at the Gangster here at the Original Gangsters Podcast. We uncover the underworld in North America. Scott Bernstein, I'm out.